Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share the proof of the derivative of moon x using the first principle. Okay, so first we let fx be the function ln x. So for a small change in fx, then ln x plus delta x. Then we apply the first principle for the derivative limit delta x approaches 0 so fx plus delta x minus fx over delta x then we substitute so it means that limit delta x approaches 0 ln x plus delta x minus ln x over delta x then we apply the properties of ln from minus will you divide so x plus delta x over x then the whole thing divide delta x and this can be written in the form of 1 over delta x times ln x over x is 1 plus delta f over x okay then we apply the properties of ln so the derivative will become limit delta x approaches 0 this is a coefficient so the properties is coefficient can turn to power okay after that what we have to do we just simplify the function we let a b delta x over x so when delta x approaches 0 here then a also approaches 0 because 0 over something we have 0 then we rewrite the function limit a approaches 0 ln 1 plus a okay 1 over 1 over delta x so from here we rewrite delta x is equal to a times x so we have a times x okay so this can be written in the form of ln 1 plus a to the power of 1 over a times 1 over x so we can bring down the power we have limit a approaches 0 1 over x ln 1 plus a to the power of 1 over a and this also can be written in the form of 1 over x ln limit a approaches 0 1 plus a to the power of 1 over a okay as we all know the limit when n approaches infinity for the function 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to e so if let's say we let a be 1 over n so it means that when n approaches infinity a approaches 0 1 over infinity is 0 so we have limit n approaches infinity 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to limit a approaches 0 1 plus a to the power of 1 over a and this is equal to e so this means that this term the limit here is equal to e so the derivative is equal to 1 over x ln e and we know that ln e is equal to 1 so 1 over x times 1 is equal to 1 over x so we already proved here okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you